Hi guys, it's me, Carolyn Scott Hamilton, the Healthy Voyager, and welcome to the Healthy Voyager's Global Kitchen. Today we're making a breakfast dish, and we're making it with quinoa. Quinoa, most of the time, is dinner, lunch, a salad, but we're gonna make it breakfast out, kind of like an oatmeal. It's delicious, it's full of protein and fiber. You will love it, it'll keep you nice and full, and it tastes great. All right, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need one cup of dry quinoa, two cups of coconut milk, almond milk, or cashew milk, which you can make at home and it tastes fantastic in this dish, about two to three tablespoons of agave or brown sugar, some cinnamon for sprinkling while you're cooking as well as after, and then some chopped up walnuts, some chopped up bananas, some chopped up strawberries to mix into your quinoa as well as to sprinkle onto after, and a little bit of brown sugar for the top. All right, so let's get cooking. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our milk going to medium heat, and we're gonna get it boiling before I put in our quinoa. All right. And then once we get it boiling, we're gonna toss these guys in and let them fluff up. Okay, our milk is boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and put in our quinoa and get it all nice and incorporated into the milk. And let it simmer a little bit, and then we're gonna turn down the heat and let it absorb all that yummy coconut milk. All right, we're gonna cover it, turn down the heat, and let it absorb for about 15 minutes. Okay, so just before all your milk is absorbed, you wanna go ahead and add in your agave or brown sugar, whatever you're using to sweeten it with, and just sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon. Not a bunch, because you're gonna sprinkle some in afterwards for garnish. So make sure you stir it in and it gets all absorbed with the milk into the quinoa so it all gets evenly distributed. All right, so we've got all that in there. We're gonna let it finish up and absorb just a little while longer. And then we'll add in our fixins. Okay, so it looks like our milk is almost totally absorbed. And we're gonna go ahead and toss in some of our bananas. We'll save some for garnish later and some of our strawberries, nice, fresh, delicious summer strawberries. And then of course, save some for later for some toppings. And mix that in there. And we're also gonna turn off the heat to let it fluff up on its own just a little bit longer so that it absorbs all of the coconut milk without burning at the bottom. That tends to happen a lot when you just let it cook all the way through. It's best to take it off the burner and let it just kind of absorb on its own for one last bit. So now it's gonna absorb the flavors of the banana and the strawberries, and then we can put the walnuts in in a few minutes and then put some more on for garnish. Okay, so it's absorbing a little bit more of the milk while we have the heat turned off. And the berries and the bananas, we're gonna put a little bit of crushed walnuts in there too. And we'll save some more for the end when we top it off to add some crunch it smells delicious, it smells like dessert for breakfast. This really is a great alternative to oatmeal because so many people are gluten free and oats have gluten. So this is protein packed and just as hearty and super delicious. All right, so it looks like the last of the liquid has absorbed. And it's okay if you got a little bit left over because you definitely don't want it to burn because that would be a travesty. All right. Let's take this yumminess over and serve it on up. So we're gonna get a nice helping of bananas and strawberries and walnuts. And then we're gonna add a little bit more on top just so it's nice and fresh. And that should about do it. Let's put a few more strawberries, make it pretty, a few more nanners. Make it pretty, sprinkle some walnuts, do a little bit of cinnamon just to dust a little bit extra on there. Maybe a few more walnuts, maybe another berry. And that is that. We've got our delicious breakfast quinoa. It is just like your mama's own oatmeal that you grew up with, or granny's oatmeal. It smells like it, but for those gluten-free folks, this rocks. And for those who are looking for an alternative, 
super delish. Well, if you like this recipe, which I hope you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or requests, I love kitchen and recipe requests, put them down in the comments below. If you don't wanna miss any of my recipes, please be sure to click subscribe to our channel, as well as subscribe to our newsletter at healthyvoyager.com and check me out on social media like Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, everything at Healthy Voyager is what you look for. And I hope to see you next time on the Healthy Voyager's Global Kitchen. Bye.